Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo, and today I'll be showing you guys how to create an advanced leg rig inside Blender. So don't get intimidated by the word advanced, it's quite easy, and I'll try my best to explain it for you guys. So I've gone ahead and started doing most of the basic job, which you guys should know how to do it. If you don't know, you can leave a um, question in the comments. So the first thing we want to enable this bone to do is I want this bone to create this kind of effect whereby it rotates and this bone stays placed. And the next one is that it can also rotate from this direction. So we can raise the heel up and the leg move accordingly. And also, we want to also have it to be able to rotate around this direction. And finally, we want it to be able to rotate in this direction. So basically, all we need to set up is just basic parent-child and parent relationship, and that will solve the whole issue for us. Okay. So first, what you want to do is just create this cool-looking shape. Okay. I extruded this one and just use F to combine it, so you have this cool-looking shape. And now selecting this tool, I'll press Ctrl P. Um, sorry, I'll press Alt B and clear the parent. So these bones don't have any parent. Next, I will select this bone and parent it to this bone. Ctrl P, set offset, then select this bone and parent it to this bone. Okay. So the reason I am doing this is that this bone, when I rotate it, as I said earlier, it's going to make this stay put, okay? And when I rotate this bone, then the whole heel goes up like that. So um, let's parent this one, because right now, if I raise this up, it's, it's not affecting the rest of the bone. So let's parent this bone to this one, okay? So now if we raise this bone, the whole uh, is giving us the right effect we need. And if we raise this, if we raise this bone, it's giving us the right effect we need. So um, these bones are going to act like, um, these bones are just going to be controller bones. So it, we don't need to affect the mesh when we are using the automatic weight painting in Blender. So let's disable that functionality. We'll just click on this deform. So Blender is going to ignore this when it comes to um, calculating the weight of the bones. Okay. So, um, Next, it's time to add constraints to be able to drive this automatically. So we want to have one bone to be able to control these two cool bones which we just add, um, added. So that bone is going to be around this corner. So we'll extrude it and press Alt P and clear parent. And now let's set up the constraint. Selecting this bone, shift select this one, press Control Shift C, copy rotation. Okay. So we want to restrict it to only the x-axis, and of course, um, you can we'll leave this offset off and select local space. So now when I rotate this bone, it's working appropriately. But when I move it this direction, I don't want it to go this direction. So let's limit that. We'll just add the limit rotation. Okay. So we are limiting, we'll set the local space. We are limiting the X axis and we want it to only rotate. Um, before we move on, let's press Shift N and recalculate the row. So this is very uh, important so that since we're adding constraint, we don't want to mess up the whole system because if you don't recalculate your row, um, you're going to run into problems later. So it's good to do it at the early stage. Okay. Um, so let's check if everything is working. And I'll delete this again. So let's check if everything is working. Okay. So everything is good. Um, let's continue. So we want to restrict um, the rotation of this bone. So limit um, rotation. Set it to local space. Limit the x axis. Um, let's set 180. So if I raise it's in the positive, it's going to rotate. If I move it in the negative, it's not going to rotate. So that's that for that. So let's apply this same principle to this bone. 
So um, the only exception, the only difference between these two um, constraints is that we will switch this from the positive to the negative. Okay. So instead of manually doing everything, we'll just select this bone and shift select this and press Ctrl C, copy constraint. So it's going to transfer all the constraints from this bone to this one. So as I said, we'll just switch it to negative 180. So now if we rotate this bone, um, it's not doing like that um, as we want. So um, to fix that, we can just invert it. And I think we need to leave this at 180, and that should work. Okay. So uh, you just play with it. Um, sometimes you may get, uh, based on the direction you're set facing, um, you may have to just go with it. So just click on invert. Um, I think that you don't need to switch this again. Just click on invert and you'll be fine. So that's basically that. Um, now we have this working. Okay. So um, as I also said, we also need when we want to get this, uh, it to rotate in this direction too. Okay. So let's set that up. I don't like how this bone is looking. I need to fix that. Okay, okay, more distant now. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So now let's create um, the control bones that's going to enable us achieve what we're going for now. I'll add a new one and just place it here. So I'm placing the bone around the area where I want it to rotate so you should be aware that when dealing with bones this around this area is the pivot point so if you want something to rotate from a particular direction you have the control to be able to watch out for this the tail of the bone that's mainly the pivot point so that's why i'm placing it here um, rather than setting it up like this so this is the correct way because i'm trying to make it rotate from this direction um, so I will duplicate this bone and also place it right here. So let's add the constraint. Um, we let's set up a parent relationship. So what we have here is that this is the parent for everything right now. Okay. So let's select this and parent it to this one, and then parent this one to this one. Okay. So with more practice, you actually understand the reason why I did that. Because when I was um, watching videos that taught me this, um, I didn't get it in the first try. It's just con continuous practice. Then I understood why it, I, the parent was like that. Okay. Um, so we select this one and shift select this and press Control Shift C, copy rotation. This time we're going to rotate in the Y axis and set local space. Now, if we rotate this bone. So it's rotating appropriately. And as we did earlier, let's limit it in the Y axis and local space. I think 180. So it's working perfectly. So let's just copy the constraint. Copy constraint and invert. I think we need to set it up better. Set this to zero, negative one. Okay, so it's working now. So we have it doing acting as we want. If I just isolate the bone and let's see, can rotate this direction, and it can rotate this direction. Pretty cool effect. Okay. So the final controller boom we want is the one that will make it rotate from this direction. Okay. Um, to do that, I will just delete this annotation and let's so let's extrude a bone from here and Alt P, let the parent. And now this bone is going to be parented to this one. Offset and once we rotate this bone, we get the effect. So that's basically 
how to create that. So you don't need to do any other thing. And for finally, we need a universal leg control. So the bone that controls the whole leg. So I will just scale this bone up and then parent this one. And this bone. So now this bone is going to control everything. Um, for the IK, um, which is necessary, we'll select this and sh we'll select this one. Shift select this one and press Shift I for IK and set it to two. Let's create the target pole for the nail area. Let's be clever and one. Okay. So that's basically that. Now we have the IK working. And if we rotate this single bone, it controls everything we need. We can rotate it left and right. Cool. So that's basically it, guys. Um, that's how to set up the leg, advanced leg. I hope I, it was not confusing. You can rewatch the video in case you don't understand. And you can always leave comments and I will answer you. So let's finish it up. Bring back the leg um, before we bind it to the mesh let's make sure we have this deform unchecked so everything uh, the only deformer bones are this one and this one and this one and also the upper bones so the rest are just controller bones and we don't need it to affect the binding processing okay um, yeah so you can move all these bones another layer um, which we will do in a, in a bit um, but before we do that let's mirror what we have created here to the other side um, select this shift s cursor to select it and select this one then make sure the pivot point is the pretty cursors cursor sorry then Duplicate, rotate X, rotate, scale, X, negative one. So that's a magic code to um, mirror your bone. And yeah, um, that's that. So let's just quickly create a hip bone. Let's add it here and parent these two bones to the hip. And now we have the leg rig. So let's bind this character. Um, let's make sure everything is working. Everything is transferred perfectly. So everything seems to be working. And yeah. So select this mesh, select this bone. Press Ctrl P, automatic weight. So everything should look good. Um, before we check, let's just hide the bones we don't need. We don't need this one. We definitely don't need this. We don't need this. So we'll just move it to another layer by pressing M. We don't need this bone. So. Uh, this one okay so basically this is what we have left and now we can pose our character so, and rotate it and it works perfectly So that's it guys i hope this tutorial is helpful if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and if you wish to see more for me don't forget to hit that subscribe button bye bye for now see you next time